Hello, right, very quickly, I'm just going to show you how to set up again because this is now much easier. I'm just going to search for GitHub to get me and in the, in the meantime you'll want to install Visual Studio 2019. Oh, you want the Community Edition. So, yeah, just search for Visual Studio uh, 2019 Community Edition, go to download it and download it there. It says it's for students and uh, open source contributors and stuff like that. So. But the thing is, make sure you, um, if you, when you sign up, uh, make sure you use your personal email address because if you use a, uh, a email address connected to an enterprise, for example, then you'll, uh, you might get your employer in trouble or something, or you might get yourself in trouble. Anyway, go to GitHub. Whilst that's downloading, search for me, which is just Lewis. Go to users, just Lewis again, and you want the OpenGL template. And then here we got the code, just download as a zip. And that's that done. Fun, just gonna go to downloads, extract it, open it up, open up the solution. Now for you, for those of you who haven't installed Visual Studio yet, I'm gonna quickly go through that. So at the top for me, I can just open up the installer by going to get tools and features, which is what is gonna appear for you, oops. So, when it finally comes up with the main, with the pop up, there we go. We've got oh come on, speed up. It's unbelievably slow. There we go. So desktop development in C plus plus is the only thing you need for this to um, well to run really. Um, and there's a bunch of optional stuff on the side. Don't worry too much about it. If you want other stuff as well, like game development with Unity and C plus plus, so you can use Unreal Engine and stuff, then might as well download those as well if uh, you're interested in that. Um, but otherwise, oh, I think there's one more thing. No, that's fine. It should be fine without. Um, and then, yeah, so that just install that, those bits. And then uh, make sure you right click on this, set a startup project. It probably already is set up as the startup project. I'm just going to open up the main so you can see it. And then the last thing and the most important thing, right at the top here, where you've got debug 64, you want to change that to x86, which is basically changing it from 32, well, 64 bit to 32 bit. And the reason we need 32 bit is because GLFW uh, binaries that, and libraries that I've included um, in this project are in 32 bit. So uh, it's just a kind of nice, it, make, it means that when we run the project, it works basically. Because if you're trying to work in 64 bit and GLFW is in 32 bit, it's just going to come up with a load of compiler errors down the bottom that will be really intimidating. Anyway. We change to 86-bit, press F5 to run the project, and we should have a blue triangle. Nice. Now, I've changed a couple of things on this project. Um, for example, we've got GLM here, which is actually at the Graphics Library Mathematics for OpenGL. It's unofficial, but it's like the most favorite um, like maths library for OpenGL. You can find it in pretty much any book. GLAD is kind of new. People used to use glue. I don't know if you, if you remember that. Well, if anyone's actually heard of it, GLEW, which is basically the graphics library extension wrangler. Um, but GLAD is basically just a more modern kind of loader. Glue used to include everything from version one to God knows what. And the GLAD is basically just the most up to date. Why has that suddenly decided to go? Weird. Um, anyway, so that's all working. And there's a couple of bits that have changed down here, but not a lot. All of it's very, very similar still. You can still change to true and false here to change between working in 3D and 2D. Um, and there's not a lot really happening in the 3D bit anyway, so I don't really know why I've included that. I don't know why that's why that's saying there's a problem there. It shouldn't be. I mean, it's still running. Weird. Anyway, I'm going to swap over to this one so I can show you what I'm working on. So setting, up, uh, setting that up as a startup project, you can see we've got compute particles there, and down there we've got a compute shader. Well, that's compute particles. There's the compute shader, and it's just taken in one argument, and I probably should should name this a bit better. In fact, I might do before, I, before so this will be a bit different, but we'll see. Anyway, if I run this, um, we've got a million particles all working in the compute shader following the mouse around and then the reflection of the mouse as well. Um, I mean, fun stuff, nothing nothing major. Um, but yeah, I think that pretty much covers it all. Um, the particle um, tutorial is pretty much 
it's like re- being rewritten so many times that I'm going back to it and not sure if I've repeated myself or not. So it's taken a little bit longer to put together. Um, but once that's done, then we'll move on to the compute shader. And then from there, we'll move on to textures. And the textures will be interesting because we'll basically be generating a texture and then using compute shaders to write to the texture. And it'll be really unique, hopefully. So hopefully something um, really different to what everyone else is doing, but more inclusive, like as in you can move on to, from but move on from that to go anywhere and kind of understand what's happening. Uh, anyway, I'll stop talking um, and leave you to, to do whatever it is you're doing. I'd laugh if it wasn't recorded. Oh, it's nice. Bye.